It's so cool. There's the Nkuma pride and the tiny cubs are just in the back. Look how little they are. They're so small. Hey guys. So this is the first time that we've seen them with the pride. How cool is this? That's so special. Look at them. They're still a little bit kind of what's going on. So little fluffy and you realize how little they are in comparison to the rest of the pride. Look at the rest of them. There's the sub-adults. So those little cubs, it's hard to think that those sub-adults a year ago were the same size as those little cubs. Oh, so cool, man. That's so magical. Hey, guys. So the little ones are a little kind of wary. Well, two of them. One doesn't care at all. One is sitting watching us. But two of them are a little bit more on the weary side, just checking out what's going on. But how cute are those little cubs? Hey, little one. Rebecca, you say they are so tiny. And look how fluffy they are, too. They are so cute. Lion cubs are one of the cutest things out here. They tend to be kind of full of fur. And they've got these sweet little faces. And it's hard to think, like I say, that if they're males, they'll end up being these 250-kilogram brutes when they're this small. But... Hopefully they will and isn't it amazing that they're still doing fine. We were talking yesterday that the female was still producing milk. Oh look at that face. Is that not sweet? This is just so cool. Roshni, you're relieved that all three are safe. Well, like I say, yesterday when we saw that female and she was still producing milk and still had the suckle marks, we knew that these cubs must still be alive but obviously you never know how many cubs so the fact that all three are here is a very special thing and the nice thing is that they've moved it looks like she's moved the den closer towards the camp this is the drainage line that runs towards Weatella camp so I wonder if this is where they've now moved the little ones and these little ones you see the two off exploring on the right there so they're going down the hill towards the drainage line where are you two off to this is slightly more brave. It looks like a little male in front that's waddling along. It's difficult to see nicely, but it looks like a little male. Here's the front one leading the way. And off they go into the thicket. How cute is that as they dodder along? Too sweet. Paula, you're wondering how old these cubs are. Paula, just judging by their size, they're still little. I would say six, maybe six weeks is what I would give them. Um, so still tiny little things. Um, they are going to still grow quite a bit. So we can start, I, and yesterday I was actually talking about it, is that they're starting to get to six, sort of six, seven weeks old. And we can start viewing them now from about this time. So now that they also come towards the pride, it's much better for us. It means that we can actually follow up and try and look for them a lot more. The first six weeks we try and avoid the area as much as possible, try and avoid that female. But when they're with the pride like this, and they, you can see they're quite relaxed. They're not running for her or not scared of us in any way. So, especially not this one. This one is super chilled. And so it's a good sign. It means that we should start getting more frequent sightings of the Inkuma pride over the next little bit. It's really a wonderful thing to see. And, and I hope that these little ones will survive. They are so cute. and so, But they are still very small. And... Like I say, six weeks is probably my guess. Maybe even five weeks. It's nah, Maybe six weeks. Now that I see them kind of walking around. Yeah, as you're wondering if I'm able to determine their sex yet. It's difficult. You've got to kind of see underneath the tail and see them quite close. So tough to say what this little one is until it turns around and sees the tail. But I'm sure I saw the first one that went down into that drainage looked like a little boy but I could be wrong and we'll have to just wait and see and time will tell as time goes on we're going to get a better idea of whether or not they are boys or girls and as we get more sightings and we can see the little back ends and them lying on their backs and maybe with their legs sort of open we'll be able to decide or we'll see whether they're males or females hopefully though there is a couple females in there because it will just strengthen the Inkuma pride even more 
Remember the Inkuma Pride, because they've done so well with these sub-adults, these ones in picture now, there's five of those, so in theory, theory we should have a 10-member pri pride in the next little bit. So the five females hopefully will stay with the, the five adults and we'll end up with a 10 female pride which is massive because you can imagine if 10 females have cubs then you can have a situation where you know nine or, or let's say eight or nine of them have an average of three cubs you can work out do the maths how quickly that pride becomes over 20 it's an amazing sort of way that things grow here comes the looks like the younger female i think she's gonna go listen 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 She's picking it up and she's taking it. Where are you taking your little cub? Look how it tucks its little tail in. How cute is that? That is just too awesome, guys. It is one of those things that I always l want to see is when the mother carries a cub like that. It's just incredible. Now, a lot of you may think that that hurts, but it doesn't. The mother is being so gentle. She's just lifting it gently with her mouth and carrying it off into the den site. So she's taking it to an area that she wants to keep them which is really cool news i wonder if the other two are going to come bounding towards where mom is but look where she's going it's dense it's thick that's an area that is great for little leopard i mean little lion cubs she can try and hide them inside there and nobody's really going to pick them up from that area